a pneumatic potato gun. Pneumatic means it's powered by air, which is from a bike pump, which means you don't need to use um, any aerosols to set it off. Now what you're going to need for, and I'm trying to do this on a budget, so it's under 40 bucks for all the materials. What you're going to need, two lengths of two inch PVC pipe. Um, each one is four feet long, but you can customize the lengths to however you like. One of them needs to have a bevel on the end, about a 45 degree bevel like this, okay? This will help the potato when you jam it in there. Um, you're gonna need a two inch ball valve, which you can buy at a hardware store for about $12. It's the most expensive part. Take your uh, leftover two inch PVC and cut two three inch pieces. You're gonna need two elbows inch end cap, PVC primer, PVC cement, an inner tube for a bike which you can buy at most hardware stores for about three bucks. And we're using this because of the valve which is in here. Alright, you're going to need a drill, some scissors, drill bits, and a little grease. Alright, so let's begin. Start off by um, wiping all the parts down with a damp towel to get all of the dust off of them. Otherwise, it can um, play some tricks with your ball about. Now, next, you're going to take your grease and use a towel and grease your ball about a little bit. This will help it slide a little more easily. Just close the ball valve. If you look in there, it's closed. And then just rub it on. Do this to both sides. And just open it and close it a few times. Spread the grease around. It should open pretty easily. So you want to be able to open this very fast. You're going to install a valve so you can pump it up. Alright. You're going to take your inner tube and cut out the section with this on it. Okay? Toss the inner tube aside, you can throw that out or do another project with it. But it looks like this. And you want to cut about an inch and a half, two inches right here, across, because it's supposed to seal it. Now, go ahead and cut off the bottom part. So you get this. Now go ahead and take the cap off, but don't lose it if you're going to want it later. And drill a hole into your PVC that will fit your, uh, the valve snugly. Okay? This one needs to be loosened up a little bit. should be very tight though to keep the pressure in. Now, go ahead and get the dust out from inside of there and grab your PVC cement and primer. Now, go ahead and take your primer and brush it to the area inside of the tube where your hole is and brush it on your rubber um, 
on on your uh, valve. And I don't have the purple primer, it's just to clear stuff. Alright. Now, I'm just going to take PVC cement and apply it to the surfaces. Apply it liberally, but not too much. Got a good amount on here, just a little bit extra on there. Alright, now you're going to push it in, put it inside, and push it up through the hole. Now, hold it to the inside of the hole to get a good seal for a little bit to make sure that it bonds. You can hold this for, you know, about a minute or so just to make sure that it um, starts to cure. And then we're going to set this up. And uh, you're going to glue your end cap onto the same end that uh, this is on. So use the same method, just, uh, you know, cleaner, uh, primer. Okay. Cement. cement. Cement it on. Remember, apply it liberally, but don't let it pool or anything. Squeeze it on here. Seat it on. And give it a little pressure. So apply it liberally, as I said before. And then apply it to this. Now, make sure this is seated on here really well. Just want to make a point right here. When you do this, you want when you glue this on, you want the angle of the um, valve and the angle of the 90 degree elbow to be 90 degrees. It just makes it a little easier for the thing. one of these into here, making sure that is all 